How's it going everyone? Welcome back. If you're trying to figure out how to transfer photos from your cell phone to your SSD or from your SSD to your cell phone, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm using a one terabyte SanDisk Extreme Portable. Do keep in mind that the cable a lot of times is gonna dictate your speed. This is a slower cable here. I just wanted to use it for the thumbnail because of the color, but this is a faster cable, which I'll use in the video. You're gonna notice this is type C to type C connection. You should not need an adapter with a Samsung. It should just plug right in. We want to start by unlocking. After we unlock our device, we do not want to go to gallery. We want to go into Samsung and into my files. If you have another Android, my files should work as well. And you're going to notice here we have USB storage one. USB storage one will be the SanDisk. So if you're trying to transfer photos from your cell phone onto the SanDisk, we want to start with internal storage. For those of you that haven't transferred much, most of our photos are under DCIM. And here you're gonna have several galleries. Scrolling down here, I have a small album with six items. We're gonna hold down on this until it gets selected. And the next thing we want to do is select move right here. And now it's highlighted. So the next step, we wanna transfer it over into the SSD. So you're gonna see here with this newer update, we're gonna tap this folder, it's gonna be a shortcut. And the next thing we're gonna do is tap USB storage one, which is gonna be this SSD. And then I'm going to select move here. What that just did is transfer the photos from my cell phone onto this SSD. As a bonus, vice versa, I'm gonna transfer from the SSD onto the cell phone. So what we do is we start by opening storage. And for example, here I have another folder, it's called Ikea Food. I'm gonna hold down on that, select move on the bottom left there. And then I can select this home button here. But I'll just show you guys here really quickly. I have the little icons embedded here, so I'm gonna swipe up, this is to go back. And then what I'm gonna do is tap internal storage. And then I'm gonna select move here. So if I wanted to put it in a specific folder, I can do that, but I'm just gonna do it move here. And what's happening here is it's going from the SSD onto the cell phone. So you can see this SSD does read and write and the cell phone does read and write. You can see there, all I have is a type C to type C, no special connections. I haven't changed anything on this SSD. Out of the box, it's XFAT for the format settings. And the reason I wanna leave it that way is because I have Apple Macs and then I have an Android cell phone. So I don't wanna be messing with it or formatting it. It works perfectly currently the way it is. And then if you guys want to be responsible, you can go ahead and select these three dots here and you can do unmount. And now it's safe to remove there. Okay, everyone, hope you found that helpful. Currently it's August 10th, 2023. This has the most current version of Android running. This is a Samsung Galaxy S21. I also plugged in this SSD into my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, which is currently recording, and it worked perfectly fine with that as well. This Galaxy I'm recording on hasn't had an update in about two and a half years, but do make sure to go into my files, not into your gallery because you won't see it. Also, the first time you plug in an SSD, you may see a little notification on the top left here, which will be USB connection, and you wanna click approve file transfers, so that way the phone recognizes the device. As always, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Strike her out.